I'm going to show you how to take out the carburetor and change the main jet inside. So take the cover off, take the battery out, don't want to get shocked or anything. So this is carburetor, got your intake manifold, got your choke, got your fuel line in, a um, fuel line to get rid of the gas that's on the bottom of the float. And we're going to go ahead and drain that. Luckily for me, it just drains off right here. So you can save this gas, put it back in the gas tank. That's what I'm going to do. And that's it. That's all that was inside the float bowl. Let's just screw this back in. Pour that right back in there. Good enough. Every penny counts. All right, so now let's go ahead and unscrew this so we could release the carburetor. So that's pretty loose. So now, I'm going to take off this fuel line and quickly plug it. Alright, now it's plugged. Alright, we're going to go ahead and disconnect this one now, because we know there's no fuel in there. So this just slides right on out. Might be a little fuel that leaks out, not too much. Good. Alright, we're going to disconnect this vacuum hose that's leading to the carburetor. Just that one. All right, that's disconnected. All right, so pretty much the only thing that's holding the carburetor up is the intake manifold, and that's already loose. So now we could just spin this towards us so we could take apart the throttle. All right, just gotta loosen this nut. Got a 12 millimeter. Oops, might need two hands. All right, now that that's loose, push it all the way down. And now, this means how your gas works, the throttle. So now this will just come, come out here. Now kind of remember how this goes, all right? Now this cable sits in there. That's it. All right, so the throttle cable is out. So now you just loosen this bad boy up. Now for this point, I'm not going to take the choke off because I don't need to. I'm just going to flip this upside down so I can take off one, two, three, four screws to get inside here to change the main jet. Now this is the float bowl. Alright, so these screws might be on really tight the first time you take it off, so make sure you have the right size uh, Phillips or else you might strip it. So now once that's off, now you have your float bowl. So in here, you've got your float, you've got your main jet, you got your pilot jet in the middle. Not too sure what this is. Look it up. And then you got your float needle. So now you just need to take off this main jet and swap it out with a larger one. This one right here. It's a number 100 jet, and I'm going to put on a 102. So your main jet might be on really tight. Make sure you have the right screwdriver that fits the grooves perfectly and goes down enough because you don't want to strip this because it's brass, it's really soft, and it could be easily stripped. And you probably want to take this out on a flat surface the first time uh, just because all these little parts right here are very crucial. To see this pin, it's almost falling out. I've got to push that back in. But every one of these has to sit perfectly or else you're going to not have it function right. So I already, in, I already unscrewed this a little. So there's my 100 jet. Put it in slightly larger 
102 jet because I have my uni air filter and I also have an exhaust. So now, get the right size. There you go. You don't want to do it too tight, but you'll feel it when it's tight enough. That's probably good right there. So I just want to show you really quick. This pin comes out very easy. Don't lose this. And now from here, you have your float. And this just comes straight up. And if you notice, look how tiny these little pieces are. Don't want to lose anything because everything is very crucial on how it sits. So I'll just put it back the way it was. Alright, All right, after your main jet is nice and tight, just do everything backwards and you should be up and ready. Alright, put the float bowl back on. Put in the four screws, nice and tight. Alright, I'll pick this up, turn it back around. Shove it all the way back in. That's what she said. Alright, the throttle cable is back on. Just gotta tighten this up again. Alright, once this is tightened on the intake manifold, connect your fuel line in back again. And I also connected my fuel line uh, bleeder over here. And your throttle might be a little off because it might not be in the same spot. So kind of tinker around with that. Or you could just adjust it using your. Uh, idler right here. I hooked the battery temporarily. I just want to test it and make sure it's gonna run right and also gives me a better chance to adjust the uh, the idle. So it probably won't start the first couple times because the carburetor has to fuel up with fuel but it should start up. Here we go. Key is on. Start up fairly fast. Looks like I did everything right. Just gotta adjust it so it's not idling so high and put everything back together, and that's it. Hope this helped.